For three decades, Egyptians had lived under an autocratic military dictator, Hosni Mubarak. Mubarak's regime symbolized corruption, government repression, and difficult living conditions. On January 25, 2011, tens of thousands of Egyptians took to Tahrir Square, demanding bread, freedom, and social justice. Protests spread across Egypt, and millions demanded the fall of the regime. Mubarak's national security used brutal force to attack and disperse protesters in Tahrir Square. Tear gas, water cannons, batons, and live ammunition were used to kill over 800 protesters, and 6,000 were injured nationwide. On February 11th, the world cheered on as Mubarak stepped down. The power of the Egyptian people succeeded in overthrowing his regime. The military took over and laid out a six-month timetable to draft a new constitution and hold new presidential and parliamentary elections, vowing to cede power to a newly elected civilian government. But a month later, Egyptians returned to Tahrir Square, demanding a quicker transition to a democratically elected government. The army and military cleared out Tahrir Square, detained and tortured over 150 protesters who were tried and convicted in military courts. Mubarak was convicted and sentenced to life in prison for ordering the killing of protesters during the 2011 uprising. In June 2012, the first free and fair democratic elections in Egyptian history took place. Almost half of the electorate participated. Dr. Mohamed Morsi, head of the Freedom and Justice Party, became the first democratically elected president. Morsi paved the way for parliamentary elections and a constitutional referendum. A new but short-lived period began in which President Morsi ruled over Egypt's deep state, a military, and government-controlled media that were not ready to hand over power to civilian rule. 